Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have great and relaxing algebra question. You can easily see this question in the middle of the screen. So we have three plus three divided by three and three plus three, right here we have, we have parentheses. So before the video, I made a quick, a quick poll and here is a result. So we, here's you can see a percentage of people choosing each option, A, B or, or C. So 14% of people choose correct answer option, option C. 42% of people choose correct answer option B. And we have 44% of people choose a correct answer answer option A. So to be honest, people's answers were split between between two options. Right here we have 42% of people choose option B as a correct answer and option A choose like 44% of people. So what answer is a correct? What is the correct solution to this uh, to this question? Of course you can write your solution, write your thoughts in the comments below and then we will check your answer. So it will be really interesting uh, to check our answer. So right now we're at the key moment because what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. So what I mean order? So right here we have a lot of mathematical operators. We have addition, we have division, and we have addition right here. We have parentheses. So we have a lot of a lot of mathematical things right here, and we need to order all of this stuff because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? And right here, I want you to see a, a look at this really quick example, like the easiest example. We have three plus three, and times two. So the easiest example, and what I mean order of operation. Right now, I'm I'm going to talk to you briefly. I would like to stop briefly to discuss this important issue because to be honest, we're easy question and a lot of students might be thinking okay three plus two times two so let's start with this with this addition right here so let's start with this addition so we have mm, so the first group of people like right here like the first group so they might be saying okay three plus two equal to five yeah and we have five we have still uh, we still have this uh, multiplication on the right side so five times two we have we have ten so a lot of students so first group of, of people might be thinking ten is a correct answer another group of people might be thinking they say okay maybe I need to follow like order of operation because some something goes wrong we have 10 and of course we can solve this question in, in a different direction we can solve it let me just erase all of this stuff and they might be thinking okay maybe we need to do multiplication at first yeah so we have 2 times 2 equal to 4 and with this beginning so we have 3 plus 4 we have seven, so and it turns into a big argument we have two completely a completely different answers we have seven and we have 10. So what, which answer is, is correct to this question? It, because, because it turns into a big argument. And right now, I really hope you understand why it's important to follow the order of operation. And right now, in the in the next step, I'm gonna show you what does it mean order, or what does it mean order of operation. So I really hope you understand that it's really weird to solve this question wherever you want, because if you solve this question wherever you want, the first, first group of people might be saying, okay, correct answer is right here, 10. Another group of people might be thinking, okay, multiplication first, correct answer is, is seven. And right now, we can can't write uh, this uh, question that equals sign right here we have seven and ten so we can't solve this question with two uh, two options we need to choose one option so seven or or ten and right now I will explain you how can we solve this question according to order of operation which is extremely important part in a basic in the basic mess so I would like to stop really briefly like for a ten seconds uh, to this step because there are two most popular order of operation because maybe there are a lot of a lot of students out there who like don't know about order of operation and I would, I would like to stop really briefly to discuss this important mess issue so here is you can see a quick diagram and uh, you can see like a split uh, uh, like classification in, of order of operation mnemonics by popularity so 65% of people choose PEMDAS as a correct order of operation here as you can see it and 35% of people choose Bodman's order of operation and you, right here you can you can see a quick explanation so what does it mean PEMDAS and Bodman's and at the key moment right here so doesn't matter what order of operation do you choose like PEMDAS or Bodman's absolutely the same thing because it's just depending on what country you'll be in for example right here we have different like regions and descriptions so you can easily see that um, people uh, in a different live in a different country they use like PEMDAS or UK India students use BODMAS order order of operation but to be honest absolutely the same thing it just depending on what country you live in and it just depending how do we call the mathematical operation like for example right here we call we call parentheses with the letter P and we, we here we have brackets with the letter B so it means that completely different first letters but absolutely the same meaning it just depending on what country you live in and basically we are talking about group and symbols like parentheses this type of bracket or these type of uh, these type of brackets. So I really hope you understand that PEMDAS and BODMAS are absolutely great for us. And right now we're gonna we're gonna use PEMDAS. So for further calculation, I'm gonna use PEMDAS order of operation. Okay, because I prefer this, and I'm gonna use this PEMDAS order of operation. So let me just uh, remember. Let's just remember these uh, mathematical operators. And right now let's solve um, let's solve our question. So right now let's go uh, to the next step.
Okay, and here's our question. Here's our order of operation. We have PEMDAS, as I said before. Here's our PEMDAC. This is our quick checklist. So each of these letters stands for something. So that's why we call this order of operation as PEMDAS order of operation. So it means parentheses first, because letter P at first. So we, we're talking about this type of brackets. We're talking about group and symbols. So this is the first thing we're going to find, because we're talking about um, from the top, we have higher priority element. And on the bottom, we have a lower lower priority. Yep. So it means that we go from the top from the top to the bottom. But right now, let's go through the steps real quick so we have um, exponent this is our next step because letter e stands for exponent it means powers yeah we find it two squares three cube letter m stands for multiplication signs d stands for division addition and subtraction in the end in the end of our of our calculation and here's our question let's solve it it was like a quick introduction because i don't know maybe a lot of students out there who like don't know about order of operation and you know it turns into a big argument and before this i explain you about order of operation why is that important and how can we solve this question with a different order of operation pandas and boardmas and right now let's solve exactly exactly our question so here as you can see the same question from the beginning so 3 plus 3 divided by 3 3 plus 3 uh, with parentheses and right now if you have this numerical expression every time i recommend you to draw this quick checklist on the right side so for example you're sitting on your exam and you have a problems with it just draw this quick just write this quick checklist on the right side and right now let's go through the steps real quick so the first step according to our checklist is parentheses let's find where do we have parentheses okay let's do this uh, like checklist do we have parentheses or maybe we, we do not have parentheses here we have something like that so right now let's let's do this let's scan our question in terms of parentheses so we don't have right here in the beginning in the middle we don't have it here we have parentheses right here so our first step is to evaluate this expression with with parentheses and we are interested in this with these parentheses maybe sometimes you use these parentheses or this type of type of bracket so we're talking about group and symbol in our question we have it so right now let's let's do it so we have three plus three and my quick recommendation like don't jump like from left to right from uh, right to left just do this step by step you have parentheses and just do it uh, quickly as a first step so first step we have parentheses three plus three divided by three and we have with parentheses we have three plus three we have we have six and right now i'm going to show you one really important moment because um, there are a lot of discussions about this step they say might be saying okay this like implicit uh, implicit multiplication multiplication by juxtaposition you know and uh, right here uh, maybe a lot of students uh, just agree with me they they prefer pandas order of operation okay they prefer a classic order of operation because you know what i mean right now there is like order of operation which is called like pajam das and right here exactly our case because we can consider this multiplication by juxtaposition and this part we can write as 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and times right here we have 6 but with parentheses because right here we have parentheses so it means that this is multiplication by juxtaposition i wanted to i want to erase this stuff real quick okay and right now i'm going to explain why i I don't prefer why I don't stand that order of operation. So this pedium does this is like a special case. Okay, this is like a special case. People like maybe in a computer science, in computer engineering, they might use this pedium does order of operation. Right now I'm talking about the basic order of operation. I'm talking about a classic PEMDAS order of operation. So if you're studying like computer science, if you need this pedium does, of course you can consider this as multiplication with juxtaposition. But right now I'm going to talk about basic and classic PEMDAS order of operation. And according to this order of operation, we don't have any like J, we don't have a j right here so we didn't have multiplication by we don't have that multiplication by juxtaposition so, so right now we're gonna erase these parentheses we, we have only parentheses so we can easily do this we can rewrite it as three plus three divided by three and times right here we have we have six so i really hope you understand it if you need this page does right here if you need uh, like to underline that you need to do like the right here multiplication at this part okay you just need to follow page does order of operation but i'm going to talk about a classic order of operation because pem does if you talk about percentages maybe 90 percent of people use this pem does order of operation we are talking about page does maybe use 10 percent of people so this is like a special case right now we're, i'm talking about a general case so i really hope you understand why we are not talking about multiplication by juxtaposition so we're talking about a classic order of operation uh, and right now we just get rid of this of these parentheses okay i really hope you understand it so we can underline that we complete this parentheses part after parentheses we have the next step the next step is exponents so right now let's scan where do we have exponents maybe we have like three square three cube six square let's do it so we don't have something like that we don't have a uh, different option so basically we don't have parentheses yeah we, if we had it we would have it right here at, at this place but we don't have we don't have parentheses we can actually get rid of this part we can actually erase this step and i recommend you do this like that if you don't have the step you can easily erase this part 
Okay, the next step is multiplication and division group. So let me just underline it as a one group. So we just go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division. So let's scan where the hell uh, multiplication and division because we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents. So right now, multiplication, division, division group. So where do we have multiplication and division group? So let me just raise uh, this yellow yellow color and right now let me just underline where do we have multiplication and division so division we have right here multiplication we have right here so it means our next step is to do multiplication and division but here's a quick recommendation you can't do like division first multiplication first you can't combine this stuff whatever you want yeah we just need to do it in a strict order from left from left to right so here here's our mixture i'm going to underline it with quick parentheses and we need to evaluate it we need to evaluate it in a strict order from left to right and doesn't matter you have like multiplication division division multiplication just do it in a strict order from left to right so multiplication comes first from left to right okay i'm gonna do it division comes first from left to right i'm gonna do it and after it i'm gonna go to division i'm gonna do to multiplication so i really hope you understand it and right now let's do it so we have both right here we have uh, we have both we have multiplication and we have we have division so right now let's do it first of all three plus this like imaginary bracket so this is my quick recommendation if you want to group something if you want to do a quick calculation just do it in your head i do not recommend you do it for example if you if you have an exam i do not recommend you but if you if it's easier for you of course you can use this this type of logic okay here's our mixture here's our expression that we need to so, so we have three plus and the first sign from left to right is division because here's the main question what is the first sign from left to right division or multiplication in our case it is division so we need to do division first so three divided by three equal to one and we have right here times right here we have a three uh, times six yeah we have times right here we have times six okay and right now we still have these imaginary brackets or this is up to you you can easily erase this this it depends on your like algebra skill because if you're pretty like convenient with what you're doing so you can easily underline this uh, this part once more okay i still need to do the, the, the multiplication so as a result we have three plus one times six equal to equal to six so we complete this multiplication part we complete this this division part and our last step is addition and subtraction and quick recommendation if you have addition and subtraction in the end you basically you don't need this order of operation because this is like a basic very very easy thing three plus six equal to equal to nine and this is our answer and uh, why order of operation is extremely great for us because we don't have two answers as we had it before we had like i guess like 12 and 9 something like that right here we have only nine and we can easily be proud of ourselves we can easily be confident because we solve this question according to according to a correct order of operation and with 100 percent probability this is a correct a correct answer so right now a few thoughts about this question so we just keep the, uh, this nine as a correct answer and right now i'm gonna show you a few really interesting a few really interesting hints okay here's our question as i said before first of all parentheses we have parentheses we have fixed right now we have two branches pejm does or pam does if you study at school if you're like not interested in computer engineering computer science you just need this PEMDAS order of operation, which is like 100% uh, is useful for this for this question. If you need another branch, if you're if you're in uh, like 10%, if you're in uh, that 10% of people, of course you can go with this PEMDAS. does. Doesn't matter, you will have different answer. But if you need it, because there are a lot of branches in the world, if you need it, you can easily go um, through this 10% of people in our case we are talking about classic order so we can actually get rid of these parentheses so we have only six and right now we just rewrite it and we have a mixture of addition multiplication addition multiplication and division so every time you have this a uh, mixture you just need to do it in a strict order from left to right but before this you just need to do uh, mathematical uh, things with multiplication and division if you do this you just go to addition and and subtraction so first of all multiplication division and then addition and uh, subtraction so that's why we just need to evaluate this expression so three divided by three times times six and in the end what do we have right here we have we have this expression so three plus one times six one times six we still need to do this because we uh, haven't done it yet yeah we, we just need to multiply it and we have three plus six equal to equal to nine i really hope your answer is the same as mine this is not a hard question but with a few really interesting uh, tricky moments right here so right now just keeping ahead and uh, the nine is a correct answer and right now let's go let's go to the beginning let's see mm, let's see what is the correct option so we have nine and let's go to the beginning right here and as you can see nine per uh, nine is the correct answer for 42 percent of people yeah we have right here 42 percent of people and 44 percent of people choose three as a correct as a correct answer so as you can see people's answers were split between two options but 44% uh, of people goes absolutely mm, goes absolutely wrong so we can we can actually be proud of ourselves you can easily be proud of yourself if you choose option b as a correct 
as a correct answer. If you choose option A as a correct answer, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math because maybe 44% uh, of students or, or people, doesn't matter, they might be thinking, okay, maybe maybe addition first. They just saw this question randomly, uh, addition first, maybe then division first, maybe then I want to do like this addition, yeah, and they say, okay, with this order of operation, you will end up with the, with the, wrong, with the wrong answer because maybe somehow people uh, just create their own order of operation, just go from right to left, from left to right, and they end up with the option A as a correct answer. I don't know exactly because this is a poll from, from a social media. I made it before, a week before before this video. So as you can see, here's our result. But if you choose option option B as a correct answer, well, you can easily be proud of, of yourself that you choose this uh, option as a correct as a correct answer. Well, obviously, option C choose like uh, uh, was chosen by 14% uh, of people, which is absolutely Absolutely great because 12 is not a correct answer, but 44% of people should review a basic math because this is a wrong, a wrong answer. So it was a quick class and a quick class. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for, for being here. I, I really appreciate it. It's a great um, honor that you are here and a great moment that we thought this question together and I really hope your answer is the same as mine. Basically, I'm really happy that you, maybe you learned something new. Maybe there are a lot of students out there who like don't know about order of operation and they need a little bit to, to know it. And of course, I really hope your answer is the same as mine. And of course, I really want to say thank you. I really want to say uh, that maybe this video is helpful in any way. I really appreciate it. And it's it's a great honor to be here and to to learn a basic math with you, to, to do this quick class. And I really appreciate it. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos and take care of yourself.